hundred percent healthy. Um, gaining weight, I'm gaining like thirty pounds since November. You no, know, at the Texas game, I was like one seventy nine. I'm like two ten right now. So no, I'm ready to play football. Real healthy right now. You feel like it was all pretty good weight, yeah. strength wise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, muscle, you know, no fat. Mm -hmm. What's been the biggest adjustment of working back into kind of getting into playing shape? Um, just working out. I mean, just getting back to the groove of thing. You know, taking it day by day. Not trying to rush anything. Just make, just trying to maintain my health and just you know get my groove back. Mm -hmm. What was that 24 hours after the Texas game like for you, man? Did you get a little scary? Yeah, the scariest thing I ever did, man. Every scene, every experience, I'm glad that's behind us now. You know, we can look towards the future. How, how did that start? I mean, um, just being dehydrated, I mean, not taking care of myself, you know, playing the whole game, you know, 90 plus snaps, you know, not even, you know, no water, you know, it's like driving, taking a car on the highway with no gas, you know, going mm -hmm. burnout. So, so what? You know, I mean, when they got you into the hospital, and, and, and how long were you in there, and, and what exactly did they tell you? Um, I was in the hospital for about like three or four days, and they just told me, well, you was just extremely dehydrated, and your body just started like to eat itself, you know, start, you know, that's where all the cramps and everything, and just I couldn't handle it no more, I just passed out. You know, when I woke up the next day, it was just told me I, um, I was, I was that close, like to dying. So, I told me I just gotta, you know, take care, take better care of my body since um, I, you know, diabetes and everything. Yeah. So you went home and, and thought everything was okay, and then next next day you sort of hit yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. After the game, I went home, I laid down, and um, within the next 10 to 15 minutes, my body just started to lock up, and I had full body cramps. I had serious headaches, and I was throwing up everywhere, and um, just didn't feel good, man. I was just in bad shape. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, were, you, were you there alone? Or? Oh no, I had my mom and my brother. Um, they were just looking after me, and then. Um, no, I mean th that oh. night after the game. I mean, were you alone at home? Oh, uh -uh, I had my mom and brother. They were there, yeah. just by accident, or no? They were just up there for the game. Right. Yeah. yeah. So they just they see me in there screaming and everything. They just called the ambulance, and um, thank God they were there because I don't know what happened if they wasn't there. Was there ever a minute where you were wondering if you'd be able to play again? Because they, they immediately ruled you out for the rest of the season, at least. Was there any, any doubt about being healthy for spring? Um, I, at, at the time, I wasn't even like, I didn't think it was that serious. I just, you know, cause I cramp at the, every game. So I didn't think it was that serious. But then when they told me it was uh, how serious it was, and I was like, dang, I was this close to you know, my football career being over, you know, at such an early age. So, you know, that, that, was, that was a scare. But um, at first, you no, know, I, I didn't even think it was serious at all. But um, it definitely was. So, so what do you? What have you changed now? Do um, you wake up and start hydrating right away? Uh, no, I, nothing. I mean, things have changed. You know, just better diet. You know, the way I take care of myself, the things I do on and off the field. You know, you know, I check. You know, my my sugar levels more now, and uh, more do more, more things diabetic wise that I should have been doing that I haven't been doing. So, um, you know, nothing drastic has changed. You know, everything's changing for the better. How, how long have you known you were diabetic? Uh, the, um, this past February was, uh, I think, two years, two or three years. So, you know, I got it late. So, just still, you know, trying to get used to it. You know, it's, it's a process. So, just trying to, you know, stay healthy. Now you you said you've gained 30 pounds mm -hmm. since then. I mean, how much did you lose? Um, I. Back then, um, November, I was 179. I started the season probably like at around 200. Right now, I'm 210. So, you know, trying to keep that, maintain that as playing weight. So, you know, from 179 to 210 in a matter of three or four months, I think that's pretty good. But you didn't, I mean, all of this, I mean, you didn't lose this after the Texas game. Oh, you no, no. This during the, during the, season. the season. Yeah, not after the Texas game. Right, no. yeah. Wow, 179 pounds. Man, try to make plays at 179 pounds. It's kind of hard. Especially up on the line of scrimmage. Right. How's the adjustment been to the new position so far? Um, it's no, it's not, it's really not a new position. It's the same thing as last year. Just you know, more run fits and um, just out there permanently now. Just last year I was, you know, I started, but you know they weren't technically calling me a starter. But this year, you know, they can call me a starter now because they just made that my position. Is it, how much mental security does it give you to know you're going to stay in one spot and they're not going to try to slide people around nearly as much this season? Um, I feel as though, like, even if they, they – everybody is suited to play every position. Like, with the DBs, everybody can play every position. Like, safeties, we can rotate everywhere. So, nobody really has a select spot. We're going to play everywhere. So, it's, I mean, you got to play, you got to play. You understand? So, 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 who's, so, so who's, who's meeting room do you go to? 
uh, Coach Defoe's. Okay. He's my coach right now, but Coach Gibby coaches all of us. Right. So, you know, we just take coaches from everybody. How's the relationship getting back with Coach DeForest? I know you kind of played under him your freshman or your two years ago. Mm -hmm. So how is it getting back with him? Um, it's like we never left. You know, we, we, are, we understand how, how he coaches. So, you know, for the new guys, they had to get right with him. But for me, like for old guys like me, Carl, Jared Harper, you know, Malik, we, all, we already knew how he was. So we just get back to the swing things like we never stopped.